man named Thane Waters. Thane? Who first came up with the idea for a red, white, and blue PBR America mustache party. Terrible. Now! Terrible. <laughs> not going so far as to say that this party is the reason for my existence. <laughs> It's definitely the reason why I drove to Moab, Utah. Oh. We've stayed with Thane for two days and I still don't know what the man is like sober. But I don't want his drug abuse to discount the cockeyed and unwilling genius of his language. Drunk and beyond serious, he gifts us with the phrase, <laughs> You don't know what you've seen. Which we go on to use as a synonym for I am intoxicated. <laughs> Later the gem, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Originally a response to the phrase fuck yeah. Which we go on to use as a synonym for I am excited. <laughs> this man who has been our host spends his life making synonyms out of Wheaties and Pabst. Breakfast is in the liver of the beholder, says Thane. <laughs> By the time I get to his brainchild Franken party, I'm halfway to heat stroke after being abandoned in the desert on hallucinogens, a story for another time. But I decided it's a great idea to chain smoke on the front porch swing. A man sits down next to me, introduces himself as Billy, bums a smoke, and then gives me instructions on how to make spice. <laughs> then Billy yells across the patio, hey! Thane, do you know who I am? And Thane says, we've never met, but you're Wild Bill. <laughs> now as of the costume unveiling, Thane is wearing biker shorts, the short ones, blue. Hot pants. Oh yeah. Doc Martens, the tall ones, white. However, the coup de gras of his outfit is either the children's talking police helmet, now adorned with decorations from sliced up PBR cans, or the blue fanny pack full of Xanax and Molly, which honestly sounds like a shitty fucking cocktail to me. I have no idea, the look of indignation on your face, Velvet. I have no idea what to do with a man that Thane Waters introduces with the prefix, wild. <laughs> Angie yells across the patio, Don't listen to anything while Bill says every shirt comes off! Bill confirms that this is a reasonable practice, <laughs> then bumps another cigarette and gives me instructions on how to make mega spice. <laughs> he asks me what the notebook for is for, and I tell him I'm a writer. He gets quiet. We're gonna do shots, he says after a pause. I follow him into the kitchen, and by party geography, we end up on the front steps. And then he says, I don't usually tell people this because I don't want them to get hateful. That's when I get curious. And then he becomes a doom clock that doubles back. The boy is a bass beat in a body. The crisp symbols his lips become this beatbox boy. And all I can hear is the amplification of an overwhelmed heart. Yeah. 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 True fucking story. All I want in return is a fucking party. <laughs>